Now there are many holes in the skull called fossa or foramina that the cranial nerves and other structures pass through to exit the skull. So we're going to go through these from anterior to posterior. Most anterior is the cribriform plate. This isn't a single opening, but rather a meshwork of many tiny holes that cranial nerve 1 passes through. Remember, cranial nerve 1 is for the sensation of smell, and so it lies above the nasal cavity. It's actually in the ethmoid bone. Now next, on the sphenoid bone, we have the optic canal. And this is where cranial nerve 2, as well as its associated arteries, the ophthalmic artery and the central retinal vein, pass through. Lateral to that, we have the superior orbital fissure. And there we have cranial nerves 3, 4, V1, and 6. And you should recognize something about all of these different nerves, and I'll get to that in a second. In addition to these nerves, through the superior orbital fissure, you also get the ophthalmic vein as well as sympathetic fibers. Now it makes sense that this is the orbital fissure, right? Orbital meaning the orbit or where the eye is. And you have cranial nerves 3, 4, 6, and the first division of the trigeminal nerve. All of these are important, of course, for different functions of the eye, mostly motor movement. And so it makes sense that they all travel together out of this foramen. Cranial nerve V2 passes through the foramen rotundum, which is round, rotund, round. And cranial nerve 3 passes through the foramen ovale, which is more oval shaped. You should note that cranial nerve V1, V2, and V3 pass through the skull in numerical order, 1, 2, and 3, from anterior to posterior. One mnemonic that we suggest is that divisions of cranial nerve 5 exit owing to standing room only. Right, and you can go standing room only. So superior orbital fissure, then rotundum, then ovale. The last foramen in the sphenoid bone is the foramen spinosum. This is actually not for cranial nerves, but the middle meningeal artery passes through here. So you should definitely know about it. Another mnemonic that may help you is ROS for these three foramina. ROS, which usually stands for review of systems, but rotundum, ovale, and spinosum. The posterior cranial fossa pass through the temporal bone or the occipital bone. In the temporal bone, we have the internal auditory meatus. Cranial nerves 7 and 8 pass through here. The jugular foramen is at the border of the temporal and occipital bones, and cranial nerves 9, 10, and 11 pass through here. The hypoglossal canal is the small hole in the occipital bone which cranial nerve 12 passes through. And last, but far from least, is the foramen magnum, which is the exit point for the brainstem, the vertebral arteries, and the spinal roots of cranial nerve 11.